Hello everyone, this is Cloud15, and after doing the entire tutorial, I came to find out that my microphone was disconnected. It sucks, so I have to do it all over again. Except I'm not doing the sprites again, even though they're simple. I'll just show you what they look like. And this right here is going to be our player. He's a basic cube with a little gun on top. Our bullet is a 5x5 five five image that's basically a diamond shape it is also centered just so you know our player is also centered and then I have three sizes of bubbles the, the way I did it was I basically made a giant one that was 100 by 100 then I dragged the actual uh, ellipse tool from this corner all the way to that corner and then I made another ellipse tool uh, with different a little bit lighter colors and the opacity down to like half and I dragged it from this corner right here down to the other corner holding shift in order to make a perfect little circle inside and then I basically went out here I duplicated it as you can see it's this size then go to transform scale and then half it how halved it have I don't know how to say it. halve halved it halved it anyways and that's how I did that size and then that's how I did the other size I duplicated this one right here and then halved it to make that little and then I have a wall which I actually loaded from in here which is called wall block in the maze platform under the sprites in Game Maker 8 and you don't have to center that but you do have to center everything else alright now once you're done with that let's go to the objects and create your character and we're, gonna, we're gonna call it old player then your bullet old bullet then your wall Gonna call it O wall, and then do the wall again by duplicating it, and we're gonna call it O floor. Now, basically, the game's gonna be played by having your character only move left and right to dodge. We're also gonna create a room. Right click on the room, create room. Double click on it to enlarge it, and click on the grid to take off the grid. Something I hate. Now on the bottom we're going to put floor. And then on the sides, all over the sides and even on top we're going to put walls. If you're getting that problem right here, you can just go up here and put 32. But if you're going down, oops. Come on, man. Alright, I'm back to 16. Now select your player and place him right. You can hold down the Alt key to uh, put him right there. He's not going to have any gravity, so he's not really platformish. He's just going to be going left and right. So this right here, if you see, if you see where my mouse is, down here you can see our X and Y coordinates where our mouse is located. So we want to put our mouse right close to the wall, basically. 32. Of course, it's going to be the same way over here, but except you have it's 640 minus 42 or 32, and it should be 592. Hmm, that doesn't seem right. But anyways, let's go to your character. Let's create his movements. So let's go to step, step event control on the right side and we're going to select our execute code and we're going to write if keyboard check vk left if x is over which is the right arrow as you can see 32 then our x can be taken down 
by 4. x is over 32, you can go down by 4. So if we try it now, we can actually have our character move to the left. And he'll stop. Bloop. The reason he stops like that is because the character, remember, he's centered. We can fix that easily by seeing how many pixels he is to the left. I'm guessing it's 7. 7. Yeah, 7. So 32 plus 7. I'm, good, I'm bad at math, so I'm guessing it's 39. Let's see. Yeah, 39. Let's try it again. And you can see we stopped. So basically that's what it means. If a person is pressing and holding down their left key, and we're above the 39 mark on our room, let's move to the left. Now let's do it for the right key. I'm going to do if keyboard check VK right and if X is under the I'm guessing it's 608 but minus 7 is going to be 601 X plus equals 4 so let's just test the program after we did that as you can see we can move to the right uh, it's going to probably be 600, 598. I think that's two pixels. Let's try 509, 599. Okay, 600 is definitely it. and then that'll make him hug the wall most likely let's test it again just cause I'm OCD like that Bloop. okay he's over the wall screw him alright so anyways after we do that the most likely reason he's doing that going over the wall is because of this plus four so let's just leave it at that so now we have that and we want to create our bullets so let's do that since we already have our bullets on the objects menu it's definitely going to appear in our coding area so let's go if keyboard check VK space which means if the user is pressing the space key to do instance create not zero zero but x and y the reason if we do zero zero I shall tell you hold on oh bullet that's what we want to create is our bullet so oh bullet is what we write so okay if we were to test the program right now we would create our bullets but they would be right on top of our character hence why we used x and y instead of zero zero now if we were to put zero zero right here zero zero if you look at my mouse really quick it's gonna you see this right here right here on this corner it was created right there the reason for it being that when you don't specify an XY location it'll create it in the location of the room so zero zero in the room if we put X why it's going to be created in the object that it's being coded on hence our player so go back change that to xy if you change it to zero zero or if you have it to zero zero and since it doesn't move let's make this a variable we're going to call it bullet equals instance create so basically our bullet variable is creating the bullet and we're going to call it with 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 bullet now we're inside of the bullet like if like for example if we were coding in here that's basically what we're doing but inside the player itself so we're gonna write um, direction equals 90 
which means that if the direction equals zero that means it's going to the right if the direction equals 90 that means it's going upwards direction equals 180 it go it goes left direction equals 270 it goes down so direction equals 90 because we want it to go up and speed is going to equal 4 but as you can see we're creating way too much and we're not deleting the the bits so after some time it will start to lag because we're not deleting them so in order to delete them let's make let's go to the uh, bullet instance and let's go to add event collision with wall execute code instance destroy open and close little parentheses and now it will be destroyed whenever it, ha it collides with the wall itself um, now that we're done with that let's go and go back to your player since we don't want our bullets to be that much because that's going to basically win the level really fast let's go to create add event create on your player and it's right can shoot in there it equals to one because we want our character to shoot then go to the step event and let's go back to your space key and we're going to write if can shoot equals one then do you know this now in here we're going to write two more things which is going to be we're going to set the alarm zero to room speed by one second so equal alarm zero equals room speed room underscore speed multiplied by one that will make it one second and we're gonna set can shoot to zero now if now I'm gonna explain to you guys what this does if the user which is you or me is pressing down the space key and our variable can shoot is equal to one we're going to set our alarm to one second and our can shoot variable to zero so that means we won't be able to shoot anymore and we're going to create a bullet and that bullet is going to have the direction set to 90 and the speed set to 4 so let's test the program out and we're only going to be able to create one bullet reason being is because we did not set our alarm so let's go back and let's go to add event alarm alarm zero <coughs> and in here we're going to put can shoot equals one and now if we test the program we hold space down as you can see we can create multiple bullets and they're getting destroyed on the wall on top as you can see so yeah <coughs> now we should be done with our character as that goes so let's go to create a bubble let's delete this really quick because I didn't need that alright so yeah our first bubble which is going to be the 100 by 100 is going to be called O bubble 1 and we're going to set two of them in the room different locations uh, so and now we're going to write inside O bubble add event we're going to create event and then we're going to go to we're going to write direction equals random 360 speed equals 4 so basically what that means is that it's going to whenever the game starts it's always going to be random they're never going to go the same places because their direction is set to 360 and whatnot. so now that they go to those directions we're going to set gravity because we don't want them to stay up all that time so gravity equals 0 0.3 and our direction for gravity is going to be gravity underscore direction and we're going to set that to what? not 0, not 90, not 180, but 270 because we want it to go down 
and then we're gonna go to add event collision with floor then collision with wall now I want you to go to the create event and control C and go to the wall and control V select all that and press uh, delete or backspace to delete all that and we're going to write direction equals direction minus 180 so basically whenever the balls hit the wall they're going to go well it didn't hit the wall there so let's try it again basically what that means is direction is going to be equal to direction and it's going to go back exactly like that alright now we're done with the wall so control C on that and put it on the floor Bop. Bloop. now whenever we hit the floor we want the ball to bounce back up so we set we're going to set gravity equal to zero so that way it's not adding up again and then we're going to set v, uh, v speed to minus five not minus equals five but equals minus five actually just put ten there Why V speed equals minus ten? Because if we were if we were to put equals ten, it would make the ball go through the floor and under us. Minus V speed is going up. If you ever need help on doing that, go to move section tab and this is V speed right here. It's automatically pointing down. So if you put ten it goes down. And if you put ten on going right like H speed, it's of course going right. Negative ten goes left. So back to floor, we set gravity to zero, V speed to negative ten, and alarm zero to room speed multiplied by one divided by two, which means half a second. Uh oh, look at that. That's not good too much speed going up so let's fix that oh actually it's also because I didn't put alarm zero good thing I caught myself and here we're gonna set gravity back to th uh, 0 0.3 you don't have to put a zero at the end of a uh, three sometimes I like to do that though so do, do. Still, it's going too fast upwards. So let's set the floor V speed to like six or something. Let's see how well that looks. Tune, 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 and the game would be something like this. Okay. Now let's continue let's see my recording 18 minutes holy shoot I don't know if I'm gonna be able to upload this just so you guys know alright so that's bubble one let's add let's duplicate this bubble and let's set it to bubble two which is gonna be our other bubble so O bubble two this is our smaller bubble so let's go to floor and it's gonna be able to jump higher so let's just set that to eight for example and one, nah, let's just leave it that as one as a second. All right, and then let's go to duplicate this, and it's gonna be bubble three. Oh, bubble three. And let's go to floor, and as well, we're gonna raise it up to ten. Now, really quick, let's see what these bubbles are. But three has to be smaller than that. If uh, your bubble came up the same size as this, go to bubble three, then go up here and select the bubble three. So let's try them out. Doosh, dash, doosh. 
All right, now we have this little, basically it's like that, uh, this is like an old NES, SNES game that was out. So once we're done with that, we are going to code them into making the bubbles themselves. So go to bubble one, and we're going to go to collision with bullet. Then we're gonna go to execute code, execute code. I'm sorry, and we're gonna write instance destroy. Now, under that, we're gonna write instance create x minus fifty y minus 50 and o bubble 2 the reason why we're going relatively by 50 because I want to create four bubbles but I don't want to create them at the same location so this is the top left corner and then the top right corner is going to be if you guessed it right x plus 50 y minus 50 and then the bottom right corner or bottom right corner it's going to be plus uh, x50 plus y50 and minus 50 one thing you should know actually I said that wrong this is the upper or I mean this is the yeah this is the upper I think upper or down I can't remember darn it but let's test the program out really quick Hmm, they're too big. They seem to be. Yep, too big. Let's try it and set it to 25. 25, and then copy and paste. Or actually, we can just go right here to this little um, magnifying glass. Find 50, and set it to 25. It's a lot more faster. Than having to write everything on your own. Alright, we also want to uh, destroy the bullet whenever it's collided there. So with other instance destroy. Basically other is talking about what's colliding with it. So with other it's currently with the bullet. So let's see if our bullet gets destroyed. Yep, it got destroyed. So that being said, let's copy all this by going right here and control C. Then go to bullet two or bubble two and go into collision bullet. Pasting it right there and hmm size differences. Let's see where the little ones spawn. Oh, bullet two. Forgot to change that too. All right, go to the magnifying glass. Then we're gonna go and write O bubble two. You can just change the little digit. That was a lot more faster to do, anyways. O bubble three, and replace all. Test the program out. Twenty-five. No, let's go ten. So twenty-five here. Then here, boop, and let's test it out again. All right, and now we go to bubble three, and we're going to. Wow! All right, just saw the timer. This is a big collision with bullet, and we're going to execute code instance destroyed. And then if we test the program out, I would have died there. Oh, look, a little glitch, 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 glitch. 
forgot to do something. If you guys can guess it, it would be to delete that bullet. So let's go back. Wow, that gets really hard. It's destroy, and then with other instance, destroy. Also, ending your programming, uh, ending your codes with this little uh, colon like that uh, is always good, just so you guys know. Alright, so if we was to test program, it would do that, but we also want to add life to our character. So let's really quick, let's draw. Nah, we don't need to draw. Yeah, let's draw something. Let's draw something at the size of 32 by 10. This is going to be our life. It's going to be a little red sphere. It looks just like, not like that, but just like that. Not right there, right there. Alright, so that's one. That's two. And this is three. Now go to transform and crop to crop the image, and then uh, click on the last one that has all all your health and move them to the left, and then that one to the left. That way it's full health to no health, and center it out if you want. Don't really mind. Sprite health. All right, now we're gonna add an object. Call it Sprite Health. And we're going to go to room zero, and we're going to put the health right here. Whoops. If you delete things and you don't know how to fix that, all you have to do is go right here, bottom left corner of the room, click on delete underline, and then you can place it. Now we're going to write some code. Character. We're going to go to O player and collision with uh, too much bubbles to add. So let's let's make it a lot more easier for us. Go to uh, create an object and call it O bubble par. O bubble par. If you don't know what O bubble par is going to be, it's basically a parent. And then go to each and every bubble and put the parent to O bubble par. O bubble par. And O bubble bar. Now on your character, you want to go to add event, collision with O bubble par, which is going to be like hitting all three bubbles. And we're going to put life minus equals one. And then with other instance destroy. Now go to create event and let's create a variable called life. And life is going to be set to 3. And we're going to go to O health. If we were to start the program right now, O health would uh, do the animation completely fast, which is something we don't need. Oh wow, that's not good. We just lost life and killed the bubble. Hmm. All right, let's try this. If other no life one instance create. Let's do the bullet thing now. Actually, we don't have to do it like that. Instance create x y o bullet. I'm at thirty minutes now, man. All right, so let's see if we collide with the bullet uh, with that right now. Bloop. Oh, come on, come on. There we go. So 
width. Let's, let's just make it a variable. Bullet equals instance create. And then with bullet. I'm going to write alarm 0 equals 10. That's, that's a third of a second in our current time right now. So now we're going to go to the bullet alarm 0 and we're going to put instant destroy. Alright, now we're done with that. Let's go to O Health and let's go to create event or yeah the create event and we're gonna write image speed image underscore speed equals zero. That's so that it doesn't, you know, constantly keep moving. As you can see right there. Now we're going to go to step event and we're gonna write if o player dot our variable life is equal to three, then sprite index is equal to zero. Why zero? Because zero is where it's full health. If we go to health right now and we go to edit sprite, sprite index is zero. Then this one's one, then this one's two. Alright, and then we copy that three times. We put two and one on this one. <coughs> and then we put one and two on this one. So now if we go test the program out. That's incorrect. I must sneeze, hold on. <laughs> Alright. So let's see what's wrong with that. Why is it creating that? Oh. I see why. Apparently it's going for that. Huh, that's weird. Let's try image. There we go. Image index is the one that we need. So copy and paste. Copy, paste, and paste. And that's bright image. So you can see now we have one life. And we probably would have died last time. But since we really don't tell it what happens when we die, we have to uh, go back to O player. And we're going to go to step event. And we're going to write, let's press enter twice, one more time. We're going to write, if life is under or equal to zero, so that means if our life is under or equal to zero, as I said, then we're going to show message, you lost. And then we're going to end the game. Or actually, it's not end game, it's game end. Alright, so let's see if we t if that works out. Oh. That was the fastest death ever. Uh, uh. Oh, he's glitched. I'm gonna go kill him. Oh, never mind. These balls are... I'm, my God! There's so much stuff here. It's like don't destroy the little ones because the little ones are the worst. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but all right, that's basically the game. Now, I'm going to stop the tutorial here because 34 minutes is pretty long, and I don't think it's gonna upload, which is gonna suck. Um, but I'm gonna upload another tutorial 
that's going to continue this tutorial further so really quick if it does upload this then I want you guys to delete these two lines right here show message and game end because we're gonna set up a high scoreboard uh, on the other tutorial and add some particle effects as well so yeah delete those two lines and then press the check mark and save your game I'll see you guys in the next tutorial peace